Welcome to Tip Tester, I'm Andy. And I'm Madeline, and today we're testing out cold weather hacks. For our first tip, we're going to try making our own hand warmers using calcium chloride. Can't wait. First, we're going to get a heavy duty freezer bag. <laughs> duty. And fill it about halfway with the ice melt. Um, so, you are supposed to avoid getting this on your skin, in your eyes. Yeah, you don't want it on your skin. It's not uh, lethal. In a smaller bag, we're going to put our water, filling it about halfway. There you go. That's good. And now we put the water in the calcium chloride mix. In theory, you could keep them separate until you need to use them. So, till next winter, maybe. Till next winter. So, to activate the hand warmer, we're going to basically just open the water packet inside. There we go. So, now the bag is open and the ice melt is mixing with the water. Let's see if it warms up or not. Oh, that is warm. It's actually kind of surprising. Oh, yeah, that's toasty. Yeah. A little too toasty. It really works, but... It is a very big hand warmer. This is a very big hand warmer, and it's really actually getting pretty hot. Sure, I trust you. I believe you. <laughs> so you should be careful if you do this, but it works. It works. For this hack, we're going to try waterproofing canvas shoes using wax from a tea candle. And I brought my own shoes from home for this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tea candle, plain uh, no scent, nothing like that. Um, remove the foil and we're just going to rub it into the shoe. Right, we're just covering the shoe with a thin layer of wax. Nice shoes. Thank you. I'm, I'm excited to finally be able to step in puddles with them. Tea candle wax is extra good because it's very, very soft. So it just kind of glides right on. So after you have a layer of wax on the shoe, you want to get a hair dryer and melt the wax. You want to do the honors? Do I ever? Surprisingly, the shoe looks fine. And that wax melted up very quickly. So now we want to test if it's waterproof. First, we're going to try with our control shoe, just seeing how it reacts to water normally. It's a wet shoe. It's a wet shoe. Albeit it's not terrible, but it's a canvas shoe, so it gets wet. Right, I mean, but if it was winter and you were trudging through the snow, it would definitely soak through. Right. All right, and now let's try it uh, with this waxed up baby. Old candle foot. Ooh, ooh, wow. slides yeah. right off. Here's El Nino. That right there is a waterproof shoe. It actually works. We it beat you, Winter. We beat you. Take that, old man, Winter. Now we're going to attempt to make a space heater using a common terracotta planter and a few candles. What a waste of time. Maybe we're dying. It's, there's a blizzard. We're trapped. The power's out. And we're bored? <laughs> well, we're bored of death. I say just embrace it. So we're going to adhere our candles by melting some of the wax first. I guess one nice thing about this is that it's sort of self-producing. Yeah, and it's also illegal in the workplace. All right, let's try it. All right, we're going to use these two metal bars just to elevate the pot when we cover it. So you need to pay attention to how tall the candles are because if they're too tall, they'll burn the top of the pot, I right. think. But if they're too tall, you can always just cut a candle in half. So we're going to place the terracotta pot there. And you can see we left some room so the fire can breathe. Let's see, it's been some time. It's warmer because there's a fire inside, but still, I wouldn't use it to heat a space. So to even feel heat, got nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, not even really anything there. Touch it. You can feel it there. I'm skeptical that you could heat a space with it. Right, you couldn't heat a corner. You know, like, it's that small. Yeah. Maybe if you were, like, in a box. If you're trapped in a box, this would be a great space heater. So, Andy, how do you feel about these winter hacks? Hand warmers actually worked. Yeah. It seemed a little dangerous because it got quite hot. And it's already cooled off, though, so it's like it would work for a very short time. Maybe right. burn your hands. And it's then... kind of a brief flash. 
Uh, and then the canvas shoes. We were able to waterproof our canvas shoe. Those worked great. I'm so excited to walk through some puddles. Um, and then lastly, we have the space heater, which actually felt really hazardous. Yeah, I feel like you don't want to make a fire in the middle of your room if you want a space heater. It's like dangerous and unhelpful. Right. So. Much like myself. Dangerous Andy. 